Hey what's up guys, today we're going to just look at what a Java, a real Java EE web application actually looks like. There's a lot of tutorials that tell you how to code and if you're new to coding and actually programming Java EE applications, which is Enterprise Edition applications, first of all, you, before you even learn it, you want to know what is it I can create out of it. So what we're looking at right now, we're looking at my personal project. It's called Geeky Stuff. I know it's not the best name for an application, but what it does, it's basically a web application that scrapes information from some of the sites that I like in terms of my magazines, even my movies, and even comic books that I like. And it's stored in all in one place on a web app that I can simply search. And this is built entirely with Java EE. Basically, it's done with Java server faces. So a lot of the front-end development, oh my god, I just, <laughs> I just refreshed it, is done with Java server faces. It's running on my local server, so I can always just start it again, and it will deploy again. And the, the local server that we're running it on is Glassfish. So there we go again. So it didn't blow up. And what I said it really does is it collects all my comic books and movie information and links for me and store it here. And for whatever user who chooses to use this web app, it will do the same thing. And the good thing about this, if you're new to Java um, EE, basically this is the kind of um, web app that you can build. Not saying you're going to build this exact web app, well, but you're going to be, be able to build, it, build stuff like this. Because when I just got into this kind of programming, I was looking for something that I could actually say, all right, what does it look like? What, 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 what does a finished product look, at, look like? And I came across a lot of stuff that were either too basic for my needs or too advanced. All right, so we're looking into the code to see what it is. So I'm using my NetBeans and my folder is called Real Money. I call it all kind of weird stuff. And we use a backend Java Bean, which stores all our um, classes. And my classes are basically scrapers. So if you're new to web scraping, that's basically what this web app does. It scrapes from various sites and gives the information store my links and the 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 front end which is a java server faces actually um displays that information um i will not be going into the exactly way how it is coded i'm just going to show you what it does basically and show you how the information is organized so this right here if you see in blue you can enlarge on what device you're looking at this is my java bean this is the java this is the brains of the whole operation this is what stores the information collects the information and sends it to our front end which would be my index page that you're looking at so this is my index page it's all coded using jsf tags and JSF is really Java server faces tags. So pretty much that's what it really is. A simpler way to design front end. And in this I throw in a little bootstrap. If you can check up here, I think I have some bootstrap someplace around here hidden or hiding somewhere. Ah, uh, there it is, our bootstrap. And I've also made the background and the wallpaper for this website to be dynamic. So if we should take a look at the site again and refresh it, you'll realize that the background is actually dynamically generated. So I'm refreshing it again. Ah, uh, there we go. Now we have a background with sub-zero. So basically it is dynamic. So what does it really do? Yes, the, the front end looks cool and we see a collection of all kind of stuff. But even in my movie category, notice this green, this is bootstrap. This is bootstrap CSS. 
you can actually click like for instance Haro and you could go and what it's going to do is to deliver you to another page that has all the horror movies all the horror movies this is dynamically created i have no control over what information is shown here it's just pulled and displayed for you and this is the horror section for the movies and we can even go here where is our magazine categories and drop down and let's just say we are looking for um computer related and let's just click go here and what you're going to find is a second page of all computer related and these links are actually live if i click on these it will bring me to my download page or wherever i can get this actual magazine so it's a very useful web app so basically that is what it is and this is all coded in 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 java this is basically java back java is the back end and java server faces is the front end that is what is being created in and as i said before if you check you'll find that a lot lot of information it's either too simple for the the amateur or it's basically too complex so this is the kind of um web app you can create i know this is not the world's best web app but this is something you can actually say okay um as a newbie how long would it take to you take for you to code something like this it depends on the level of um comfort you are with java itself because the java server faces and you can you you can find information on how to get server faces or tutorials on server faces almost anywhere and basically that is it is it that's it in a nutshell it's not crazy difficult it's just you're extending your knowledge of java into the web sphere and creating a dynamic website cuz look again i'm going to show off again now if i should refresh this the background will change again because it's dynamic. There we go. We now have Spider-Man and that kind of situation. And as I said, this is a demo. Um, some of my links don't work ready, work as well as yet. But it's basically a labor of love. It's my project. So that is it. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope this answered a lot of questions or persons who are new to this java ee and wonder what kind of thing can i create in let's say like about um a short amount of time depending on my work my workload and this is what you can create and the best thing to use for java ee is netbeans a lot of persons will tell you to use eclipse i don't agree i love eclipse it's one of my favorite ides but once you're going java ee use NetBeans. NetBeans makes life better, especially when you're using JSF tags or you're doing any kind of EE um, um, elements. This is what you want to use. And thanks for watching, guys. Try to make it as simple as possible. Tell me if you like it. Thumbs up if you love it. All of that stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it.